Fran, who are we expecting? Everybody? I couldn't remember. Hey, Fran. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ears. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you.
Joe, it looks like maybe you. Um, yeah, I did some. That's okay. Um, there's a. There, there, there it is. <laughs> I figured it out. I just keep hitting it and it works. <laughs> I don't want to get too technical here. That's why I don't move very much. So is there good stuff going on? Good. Lots, lots of stuff going on. Oh, good. That's better than listening to the news. Yep, lots of stuff going on. I don't listen. I very rarely watch. Well, I, I try to listen for the weather forecast here locally, but. <laughs> That's what I use this for, Joe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm not that technical. <laughs> you see our varsity softball states women won state. Yeah, yeah. sorry. They that made cool. history. That was cool. Yeah. Is your daughter still play or is she graduated? She's on, she's on JV. Oh, she's, okay. She's on JV. So we actually drove down to Springfield and watched the varsity girls. Oh, neat. Yeah, it was fun. They're losing eight seniors. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, the, the varsity team had eight seniors, 10 juniors, and one freshman. Hmm. So uh, next year should be interesting with 10 juniors. Yeah. Morning, Holland. Is she up there? She's connecting. We got four of you, still not a quorum. Yeah, we need one more, right? Yep. Do we know who's not gonna be here? Everybody's supposed to be here. So John and Steve are supposed to be joining us. Okay, John, real quick. We'll get John in the car again, maybe. <laughs> He doesn't have anything going on. He's probably yeah, really. <laughs> Did it again. Keep stopping your video by accident. Yeah, I just keep hitting it and it pops back up. I'm back, right? You are. Okay. Holland, we were, um, we had a little mishap or a, a client had a mishap at our animal hospital. The um, dog slipped the lead in the collar and bolted oh. across Big Bend. We, so, was this last week? We had people yeah. looking for uh, all up and down the streets and did you yes. guys find them? Yep, we, we oh. did. We found her, but it was fine because you look like you're having a street party. You were talking to a bunch of people. It was a bunch of people with their cars on that road. I don't know what was going, but anyway, I was going to stop and say hello, but there was a <laughs> pressing of an issue, but we found her after two, two hours, two and a half hours. I mean, people were up and down all the streets. They kept coming in our, cause we had a door open on the side of Dale just cause it was such a pretty day. And this lady was like, do you think the dog could have run in here? And I have three staff members, like the biggest dog people in the world. And I was like, if the dog had come in, he would be in the lap of one of these people right now. So it was, I'm glad you guys found him. Oh, me too. <laughs> Went into the backyard of somebody in Webster. And then, um, and then the gentleman who was on a Zoom meeting for work couldn't get the dog at the time. So when he got done, he was able to. But yeah, I was a little... And I uh, felt bad. I'm trespassing on a whole bunch of backyards, but you know, what do you do? What do you do? Got to hey, see Jeff. parts of Webster I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to cut in, but John says he needs the link. He, he forgot about it, but can we send John the link again? Uh, I just texted both him and Steve. But did you oh, send him the link? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, uh, thanks. He should be coming on. Then. They'll be coming on the teleconferencing link. That's fine. Yeah, that's how... Because I don't have their personal one. I'll move them over as soon as they come on. <clears throat> I 
trying to get another computer working. So I'm tagging between two. Mara? Yes. Is your kiddo going back this week? Well, yeah, it should be interesting because we were supposed to have the day, we were supposed to be driving to Indiana. And uh, then when we found out that she had school, and of course she's the last half of the alphabet, like you are. So it's afternoon. So what, I think we're gonna pack the car um, and her last, her fourth hour is um, ACK Lab. So I think we can at least get her out of ACK Lab and then start the six and a half hour drive. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sadie had one teacher, her last teacher of the day, who even though they're supposed to be doing asynchronous today, still had a quiz yesterday and a test today in the last oh, hour. I was just gonna say ours has, Olivia has a quiz today in second hour. Good times. Woohoo! How did they do that? What? How do they do that? The quiz, do they just send them in or they have to do them and send them in or is there? I think it, it's timed and it shows up on their computer and they do whatever they need to do. I don't know. I, so is, is Sadie going back? She is. I mean, she gave tours last week for freshmen because she was a, um, whatever those are called, pacers for the summer. So she got in a group to help give tours last week. And she was like, her heart was swelling, as she said, to be back in school. It is what it is. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how safe it is. And I just think as everybody, we can quit talking as soon as John shows up. But I'm, I'm waiting for him. I'm watching. So, um, I mean, I think it's like everybody else's concerns is, if something happens and the student has to get quarantined, they are on their own for 14 days with no instruction. And I just think that that is my one part that is That's just, you're gonna have half of these in, in person sure. kids. Yeah. Yeah. With no instruction, but what else? Yeah. Apologies, everybody. Hey, Jack. It seems hey, to be Jack. the new virtual John Barr. It seems to be late for every meeting. <laughs> Back in the old days, I was never really late, though. Just <laughs> all right. No worries. <laughs> I know you were sleeping, John. I was gonna go wake you up. Uh, I actually get in the shower, so now I have a hat on because I'm like <laughs> covering up the fact that I'm a wreck right now. But <laughs> but here I am. Well, we can go, right? Yep. We're ready. All Waiting right. on you. Okay, let's do the approval of the minutes. I make a motion to approve. Second. There we go. Well, of course, the visitors didn't show up today. So. <laughs> no visitors. No visitors, old business, streetscape. So um, the bids, uh, the steep streetscape went out to bid. It came in under bid, which is awesome. Um, and we'll be starting um, in the spring on the streetscape. Great. That's about the, the biggest update. Came in under bid, everything looks good, and they will be starting the streetscape. Good. How about the rooftop lighting? So I put in a couple weeks ago, I had approval from Holland's building, um, Steve's old building, and uh, Mary Jane's. Um, Angel, I went ahead and put yours on the list. Oh, I forgot to send you that, sorry. That's I'll send it to you if you want something official. That'd be great, but I figured okay. you were on there as well as um, the, um, sorry, um, Dave Sanders building with um, Gorilla Street Food. So I put those all on the list because I had permission from all of them, um, sent it over to Stribe Electric and they said it would be a couple weeks. So we're at a couple weeks. I'm gonna check back in with him and kind of see what the scheduling is. Um, and as soon as I know which buildings he's doing in what order, I will send information out. But that was the first grouping that I had permission from all the building owners and, um, and we'll be good to go. Um, and then I'm gonna put in the same update on rooftop lighting, just an update on a few other things uh, related to 
decorations and holiday things. Um, so just as a reminder, we did end up doing four seasons of banners um, so that we matched Old Webster. Um, the fall banner took way longer than it was supposed to take. So the fall banner never went up. So you guys went from 4th of July banners to snowflakes, um, but all the snowflake banners are up. Um, the additional, you guys have a decoration that kind of hangs with a couple balls. Those are up. They created some new decorations that I think should be going up on the poles along um, Southfold Orchard, kind of going down near Highway 61 Roadhouse. Um, they're using recycled materials and some other things like that. Um, I saw they were putting up the decorations on the Murdoch Bridge. Um, just know we did put into our budget additional banners to ensure that as soon as the new streetscape goes up, you will have banners that match down all of those lights. Um, you should see going up quite soon, some really fun decorations from the parks department. They got pretty creative this year on things that people can stand near around behind um, to take pictures. Um, so the first one I know is up in Old Webster because they wanted to make sure it was up for their um, a, a winter market, which is basically just a, a street, street sale um, this weekend. Um, so theirs is up already. I know that there will be ones in your district too. Um, so be on the lookout for them. Um, but it, it is definitely things that people can walk up to, take pictures with. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, and if you haven't seen already, they did put up in Crossroads, it's a, it's a, a line of penguins. Um, there's a whole line of penguins that all go um, in an area over at Elm and Big Bend. Um, so that one has been up for a little while. I just saw the one go up in Old Webster and then there should be, I think there's four or five more that'll be going up around the, around the area in the business districts. Cool. Well, anything? Oh, we have a uh, new business, don't we? Any new business? <laughs> new business usually goes into my city update. So, do you want me to start city update? Let's do it. Okay. So, oh, I have one quick question. Yeah. Do you know when they'll put uh, Santa's mailbox in the gazebo? Oh, yeah. Sorry. That is, uh, it should be quite soon. That's one of the things they're going to have. Um, so with Santa's mailbox, they have, again, these sort of tableaus or whatever they are, they're made of wood. Um, I believe the one that has Santa is going with Santa's mailbox. Um, so um, yes, it, it, I know you sent me an email. It was late last night before I was able to look at it. I was gonna get an exact date from Fran, um, but Fran, from Yvonne, an exact date from Yvonne. Um, Yvonne did tell me, I think they were all going out pretty quickly because the weather's been so warm, they were gonna be able to get it all out uh, because they're not closing parks bathrooms as quickly uh, this year due to the warmer weather. Um, so it definitely will be going out. I just don't know exact date, but as soon as I get it from Yvonne later today, I will send that back to you. Cool. Yes, so yes, yeah, Santa's mailbox, extra decorations in the park, um, and they are, they are really fun. They, the parks department actually, these things are life size. So they actually had some sort of projector and people stood in front of the projector and then they had wood behind and they created these life size cutouts that they painted. And then in some of them, they have the, the hole missing where you can put your face in and different stuff like that. Um, so there will be, I can't remember if Santa's going with the mailbox or if the Grinch is going with the mailbox, um, but someone's going in, in the park with the mailbox. And the one in Old Orchard is Carolers. I mean, Old Webster is yes. Carolers. It's Carolers in Old Webster. Um, and then I know there's a Grinch and with Cindy Lou, and I know that there is a Santa and I feel like there's another one. I can't remember the other one. Fun. Yeah, they're gonna be really fun. So city update, 
a um, few different things. Uh, so down at the end past your district, um, the used car lot from Subaru, um, they had um, at the ARB meeting last week, uh, they went before them to get some informational only about their design for the urgent care. Um, they're going to Board of Adjustment tomorrow night uh, to get a variance. And um, so that would be a new urgent care location. Um, I am working with someone um, for the piece of property across the street from the main Subaru location, your, the lot and the little building. As soon as I have something to announce with that, I'll let you know. Um, but I'm working with them on their due diligence for that location. Um, Dharma and Dwell is really, really close. John, I know she's working on one last thing with us for their for her business license. It relates to something with the with the state, uh, some sort of sales tax thing. And as soon as we can get that, she's good to go. Um, so we're working with her on that. And I Thank know you. Union Studio is up and going, and I see lots of their posts about different things. So that's awesome. Um, we're working with a couple other businesses. Um, we're still working with Union Loafers for Union Bagels in Crossroads. Um, you'll probably see there's paper up at the old Porter Paints location um, that they're going to be going into. Um, and we are, um, the hearings have ended, or not the hearings, but the public meetings, town halls, have ended at this point for the big development area north of Old Webster, um, but you can go back and look at all of them on the city's website. They have a connection um, to get to the SG Collaborative page. Um, at some point in the near future, there will be those next steps of what they need to do, which would be going for, a, for public hearings before the Planning Commission. Those will be available to the public and open to the public. Um, we're going to try to get people to come listen, give us feedback. Um, it'll go, be over a series of meetings uh, before the Planning Commission. Um, the Planning Commission is also working on some various code changes um, with uh, single family residential, um, trying to lower the maximums for how big the houses can be on substandard lots, smaller legal lots. Um, as well as working on the opportunity to do two family structures in one of our zoning districts um, to allow for a continuation of the diversity of the type and size of housing um, in the community because we're losing a lot of our smaller structures uh, for demolition and in their place are 2,600, 3,000 square foot and bigger houses. Um, so we are looking at this two family option that would allow for two smaller um, more like a 1200 or 1400 square foot house um, shared on a lot. So we're working on that with the Planning Commission. That'll be going for a number of months as they continue to discuss that. Um, the City Council has been working on um, parking code amendments. They're going back, hopefully, with some final changes to the next council meeting next Tuesday. Um, and so we're continuing to work on those. And feel like that's everything right now. I might be missing something. Um, I know we're working with a couple other smaller second story uses, uh, some office users and a few things like that, but continuing to check along. Mara, can I ask, and I don't know that it's all of our part of Webster or not, but the, the street work that's going on on Big Bend. Uh, I was just curious on a time frame or what the don't know what the scoop was with that. I will try to get a time frame on that. Um, so it's Missouri American Water. Okay. Um, they wanted to move the water lines before our construction started, um, and I know that they were, you know, trying to first do our section where our streetscape was going to go, with the possibility, I think, of making sure that it was done in time for us to start if we were going to start in the fall, which obviously we're not. Um, there's going to be a lot of temporary patches until the spring when we will be going back in and taking care of um, our streetscape. I do know that they're doing some, Missouri American Water is doing major projects everywhere. 
Um, they're about to start on a couple others that feel like there's just too many going on at once. Is that the still the same one that's going on even from roughly 44 Big Bend all the way down? Is that <laughs> like, okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just I. That's how I go into work, and it's a it's a mess. It is a mess. I mean, it's like you know, the least they could do is have plates that are thinner. I get yeah. why they can't, but it's like, geez, oh. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. I was just curious. Yeah. And even the patches that don't have plates are so rough. Um, yeah. I got a new car this weekend and I'm driving over that thing and it's been a really smooth ride for my last 48 hours, but going over that thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. My family was like, when is this going to get fixed? Um, it's going to be a little while okay. um, because usually they put a temporary patch down, then they come back and do other patches. And it's kind of a bummer because if you remember, it hasn't been that long since Big Bend was completely redone when they redid the striping and it was so beautiful. So this is gonna be, I don't know whether county's gonna fight Missouri American Water to, to really restore it back the right way. Um, I hope they do because it's, it's kind of a disaster. Um, and then it's gonna add, they've got a couple more projects including doing Glendale from Elm to Edgar Road coming up. So that one's gonna be a mess for residents. Oh crap. Yeah, that no. one's gonna be. <laughs> and uh, I kept saying, why don't you put, put it off until the work is finished at Hickson? Cause it would make a lot of sense to not have it going on at Hickson with the kids going back to school. And now you're adding in Glendale and the school district said, oh no, it should be fine. <clears throat> so. I tried. Thank you. Yep. Anyone else have any other questions on anything going on? We're still staying virtual um, as best we can. Um, we're even city council still virtual um, and um, we're, we're up to doing, we're doing all of our inspections. We're, we're, we're doing all of our different things, but it, it's getting, it's getting tough for a lot of people. Well, do we have it? We don't have anything else, I guess. Next meeting, we're moving on pretty quick here. Obviously, there is no holiday party. Sorry. No. no. Well, we're, if anybody's interested, um, we are doing private shopping appointments for people that are immune compromised. But also, if you can have up to 12 people throughout the store once we're closed. You're still masked. There's no drinking and the usual carousing. But if that's just a time for your book club to get together or a group of family members to come get your shopping out of the way. So it happens like when we're closed. So it's eight o'clock Monday through Friday, six o'clock Saturdays or five o'clock on Sundays. And just give me an email um, if you've got a group of people up to 12 uh, to do a little private shopping. Cool. Good idea. All right. Well, the, who wants to make the motion? To adjourn. I'll make the motion to adjourn. All right, here we go. See you guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. See you guys.